In this session, I'm going to show you how to use the Task Manager functionality within iThoughts. It's a very simple but very useful tool that could help you out, especially in a business context if you're trying to work to deadlines. So here we go. So you'll see here under Monday, under the morning, I've added three things, three things that have to be done or three meetings or whatever in the morning. So we have to compile a pitch for client A, we have to send a monthly mail shot, and someone has to compose a company jingle. Why not? So we're gonna, what we're going to do then is we're going to click on the, the task or the... Um, the topic that you want to add some task information to, so we'll say compile pitch for client A and then you have two options, you can either right click and come down here to task and you'll see show task panel, so if I were to click on that this task panel pops up here or again a quicker version, you simply come up here to this calendar icon, if I click that again this window pops open. Now what this window gives you is numerous options, numerous little bits, bits of additional information you can add relating to the task. So we're saying we're going to compile a pitch and maybe that's uh, so that'll start today which is the 2nd of September, maybe it's due by tomorrow so the 3rd of September, so you'll see the calendar pops out, I can select 3rd there, uh, maybe it's going to take us 2 hours so 120 minutes or if you wanted you could change the uh, the unit there, but we'll say 120 minutes. Uh, it has not yet been started and it is a priority one. You'll see as I'm doing all these things they're all popping up here so you can see it says here from the 2nd of September to the 3rd of September so that's today to tomorrow so that's the start date up here and the due date there that's how I've put that in. I've said it's going to take 120 minutes so if I now click off that 120 minutes pops up there so that's telling you how long it's going to take. I've said it's not started so that gives you this blank box here, so you'll see if I now change this and say it's, let's say, a quarter complete, 25% complete, this progress marker changes and it updates to say it's 25% complete. And it's priority one, which is what this little one represents. I can then also add people to it, add resources, as they're called in iThought. So let's say that doing this pitch is a Barney task and a Ruth task. So if it gives you pre-existing options here, so because I've used this before, it's given me the option of using Barney. So once you've used this a few times, you'll see that it gives you options. So if it might give you team members or bits of technology that you need to use that you've been using and putting into this task information in the past. So if I click on Barney, oh, if I just click on Barney, I'll do that again, sorry. And you can see it adds me in there. Maybe we need Ruth in this one. So again, press enter, and there she is. So if I then click off Task Manager, you'll see that compiling pitch a uh, pitch for client A, so this one task here, now has a whole load of extra information relating to it. So it's due on the 3rd of September, it starts today, it'll take 120 minutes, it's a job for Barney and Ruth, it's a priority one, and it is 25% complete. You can then adjust some of these things immediately, so if I click on this, you'll see if I click on the number here, sorry, so the number one, if I click on that, it opens out this little priority bar and I can change that here to say it's actually now a priority three, it's not quite as important as it was. Equally, let's say we've nearly completed it, so that I click on this progress bar, it pops out here and I can say it's 90% complete, it's nearly done. So you can continue to do that on as many tasks as you want, just be wary that obviously if you add task information to everything in your map it'll become pretty bulky and a bit cumbersome in not too long. But just to demonstrate again, so we're on send monthly mail shot, or actually let's go to compose the company jingle. So we go up to the task information icon here, we click on that, and we say that is due by next week, so it's Friday day, so next Friday, the 9th of September. Uh, that should take five minutes because we have musical geniuses working for us. Uh, it is 25% complete, we've decided on the instruments we're going to use. Uh, it is a priority five, it's not really that high on our list, and that is a job for Nick. I mean, he's pretty good at that sort of thing. So we add that there, and if I then click off this, you can see composing the company jingle is due by next Friday. It'll take five minutes to do, it's a job for Nick to do, it's priority five, and it is 25% complete. So there you go, that's how to add task information in iThoughts.